welcome back. So in today's topic, we were going to talk about fractions. So when it comes to fraction, you always want to keep it as the simplified way, which means you should reduce the fractions. So we reduce the fraction by dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number called common factor. So now let's take a look at our example one, 12 over 16. <clears throat> um, so what would be the common factor? So 12 and 16, they're even number, so they can both divide it by 2. So divided by 2, they have 6 over 8. But when it comes to 6 over 8, they can continue to be reduced, right? So they have another common factor, which is 2. We divide it by another 2, we will have 3 over 4. Sometimes if you can see the common factor, the largest common factor, 4 right away, you can reduce it multiple times by reducing the small common factor. So for example, in this one, 68 over 119, so what would be the common factor? So I will ask you to pause the video and try to do it by yourself. So this one looks like, okay, one is odd number, one is even number, and then... It seems they can divide it by 3 and 5, any number. It's not that obvious for this one. So we need to try all of those prime numbers. So we try 1, of course, but if you divide it by 1, you will get itself. So not 2. What are the prime numbers? 2, 3, 5, 7, 9. Oh, 9 is not a prime number because they can divisible by 3. Um, and then what, 11, 13, and 17, 19, yes, let's try all of this. So definitely not 2, right? So 68, since it's an odd number, they can't divide it by 3. So 5, because they don't end with um, 0 or 5, so it's not divisible by 5. So we can try 7. 68 divided by 7, well... It doesn't work because there would be a residual because we know that 63 they can divide by 7 which is equal to 9 so 68 and the next number can divide it by 7 is going to be 70 so 68 is in between 63 and 70 we know that 7 won't work and 11 11 usually is really easy these two numbers to be the same so we know that these won't work so now let's try 13 so 68 divided by 13, if we try 5, so we have 65, you have residual 3, which is doesn't work. And now let's try 17. 68 divided by 17, well, we have 4, which is 68 equals to 0. So we know that 68 is divisible by 17. So now let's try 119, see if it's divisible by 17. So divided by 17, um, I will try 7 because it ends at 9, because 7 times 7 got you 49, which gives you 9. So 7 times 1, 7, 7 plus 4, 11. Okay, so 119 is divisible by 7. So that we find the common denominator, common factor, which is 17. So when you reduce it, you will have 4 over 7. Again, this one is not easy to find, but you need to try all of the prime numbers. So the second part about fraction is multiplying the fractions. We multiply the fractions by multiplying straight across the numerator and the denominator. So that means the top multiply the top, the bottom multiply the bottoms. Okay, again, after that, you always need to simplify the fractions. So in here, let's multiply 1 eighth times 2 third. Again, the top multiply the top, the bottom multiply the bottom. We have a 2 over 24. And then common factor 2, we divide it by 2, we have... 1 over 12. Okay, second one. We use the top, multiply the top, bottom 55 times 16. Okay, 
So 15 5 times 16, we have 880. And then 4 times 5, we have 20. So now, I'm going to skip the steps. So these have a common factor 20. So we divide it by 20. We have 1 over 44. Or you can take a step to do it one by one by yourself. Okay. So next one is dividing the fractions. So dividing the fraction is really similar to multiply the fractions with one extra step. So you need to write the fraction behind the division sign as the reciprocal and change the division sign to multiplication. So what is reciprocal? So A over B is reciprocal is B over A. For example, one eighth is reciprocal is you flip them, you will have A1, A over one, or two third is reciprocal is three half. You just flip the sign. Okay, so basically when it comes to division, div division fraction, dividing the fraction, you just need to flip the second fraction and multiply it. Like 10 divided by 3 half, we can flip it, multiply is reciprocal, which is we flip it, we have 2 third. So we will have, and then we follow the multiplication, 20 over third. So here is the same, the first one, the first fraction remain the same, and then we change the division sign, become a multiplication sign, and flip which is the reciprocal of the second fraction. We have a 12 over 25. And now we just follow the multiplication rule, which is the top multiply the top, the bottom multiply the bottom. And we have 60 over 350. Now you still need to simplify it. So what would be the common factor? Of course, 10, right? Because they both ended with zero. That means you can both divide it by 10. I have six over 35. That's it. So the next one is how to adding and subtracting fraction. Before that, we need to find, know how to find the lowest or the least common multiple, which is of a set of factor that the smallest number that is divisible by all the factor in the set. So now take a look. Here's the example. We're trying to find the lowest common multiple of 3, 8, and 12. So how do we do that? So now, first of all, you need to know, okay, 3 is the prime factor would be 1 times 3 equals to 3. 8 is what? 2 times 4 equals to 8, and 4 you can write it as 2 times 2. And for 12, you will have what? 2 times 6. And for 6, you have 2 times 3. So that means if we want to write 3, I can write it as 1 times 3 equals to 3. 8 is, let me use different colors. Oops, sorry. 8, I'm going to write as 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. 12, another color, 12 equals to 2 times 2 times 3. So now when it comes to the least common multiple, remember that it's a sector factor that the smallest number that is divisible by all the factors in the set. So now we're trying to find the least common multiple of 3, 8, well, first of all, we want to make sure that it can be divisible by 12. So we need to write down 2 times 2 times 3. Because 12 is equal to 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 3. Okay, and now let's look at 8. 8, we have 1, 2 is taken care of. The second 2 is taken care of. That means we need another 2, right? So here, we times another 2. So 
8 is taken care of. Okay, so now let's take a look at 3. So 3 is equals to 1 times 3. So there is a 3 here, it's taken care of. So we need 1. So everything times 1 is equal to 1. So we don't need to worry about that. So if we multiply all of these factors together, we'll give you the list or the lowest common multiple, which is equal to 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 equals to 12, 12 times 2 is equal to 24. So now let's do this again. So find the least common multiple of 4, 28, and 49. Again, 4, you can write it as what? 2 times 2. Remember, this has to be a prime factor, which means they can only multiply it by itself. Okay, so the second one is 28. We have 4 times 7 equals 28. The 4 is not a prime factor. We can keep continue to factor it out as 2 times 2. Okay, and then 49. So 49 is equal to 7 times 7. So in another word, I can write 49 equals to 7 times 7. And uh, 28 equals to 2 times 2 times 7. And the 4 equals to 2 times 2 times 2. So now we're trying to find the least common multiple. 4, 28, 49. Again, we need 2 times 2 to... Oh, sorry, not 4 times 4, 2 times 2. So 2 times 2. Okay, the 4 is taken care of. And now the next thing we want to take care of is 28. So for 28, you already have 2 times 2 in here. And now we need another factor, which is 7. So means we need to times 7 here. And now the next one is 49. 49 is 7 times 7. We have one 7 here. Now that means we need another 7. Okay. So if we multiply all of this together, oops, sorry, we should get, the least or the lowest common multiply. So we have 4 times 47, which is, oh, let me use my calculator. Four times 49, I'm sorry, is 196. So this is going to be the least common multiple of 4, 28, and 49. Okay. So the lowest common denominator is the least or the lowest common multiple of all the denominator given a set of fraction. So in here, find the least common denominator between 7 9th and 5 12th. We write each fraction with the least common denominator. So now we have a 9 and a 12. That means we need to find the least common multiple of 9 and the 12. Remember, 9, we can write it as 3 times 3. And 12 equals to 3 times 4, right? So that means if you want to be the least common multiple, we want, we will have all the factors that 9 has, and also the factors that the 12 has, which is another 4. So that means the least common multiply would be 36. Okay, so how can we rewrite a fraction with the least common denominator 36? So that means we want to write 7 9th and we want to write as something over 36. How do we do that? From 9 to 36, we times 4, right? So that means we want to times 4 on the top as well. So that means the question mark equals to 28. So that means 7 over 9 equals to 28 over 36. 
Okay, another one is five twelve. We want to write it at something over thirty six, right? So now I'll take a look. Twelve from twelve to thirty six. We need to what? Multiply a three. If you multiply three on the denominator, that means you also need to multiply three with the numerator. So here should be fifteen. So when we write it, we will have fifteen over thirty six. Okay. So when adding and subtracting a fraction with the same denominator, what we would do is we just subtract or add the numerator. The denominator denominator will remain the same. So in this case is one plus three over eight, which is four over eight. So by now you should know what do we need to do. We still need to simplify it, which means we will, we want to reduce the factor. So this is equal to one half. So again here, they have the same denominator. So what we would do is just add or subtract the numerator. So we have a two plus four minus nine over five. The denominator will remain the same. So two plus four minus nine equals to negative one over five. So usually we would like to move the negative sign in front of the whole fraction so that we have negative one fifth instead of negative one over five. Okay, so what if they have different denominator? So the first thing you would do is convert them, convert, write a fraction with the same root um, denominator, which means we need to find the least common denominator. So for 4 and 6, what will be the least common multiply? It's going to be, take a break and do it by yourself. This is going to be equal to 12. So that means I want to convert 3 fourth as 3 quarter. I'm sorry, 3 quarters to 12, or something over 12. So you multiply 3 on the top and bottom, so you have 9 over 12 plus, okay, 1 6th. I want to convert 6 to 12, that means I need to multiply 2, and then that means the numerator also need to multiply by 2. So I have a 2 over 12. And then after they have the same denominator, we just need to add or subtract the numerator. So I have 11 over 12. Okay, so the next one is, what will be the least common factors, least common denominators in here, or least common multiply? It's going to be 30, right? So how can I get 30? So I need to multiply 2 on the top and bottom. I have 14 over 30 minus... This is times 3 to attend 13 for the bottom. So I have a 9 over 13. And 14 over 9 minus 9 is equal to... Oops, I'm sorry. I should get more steps. So I would want to have the numerator, subtract the numerator, and the denominator remain the same. So I have 5 over 30. But very important thing is you want to keep reduce the factors because 5 over 30 they have a common factor 5 when you reduce it reduce it you should have 1 6 okay pause the video and try to do that by yourself so now let's do this so the least common multiple for 6 8 and 4 should be 24 now I'm going to do it very fast so 1 6th, how can I convert it to 24? You want to multiply 4 on the top and bottom. So you will have 24 over 4 over 24. And the 1 8th, when you convert it, you have a 3 over 24. At 1 4th, you convert the numerator to 24. That means the top needs to multiply by 6. Again, now they have the same denominator. So what I would do is 3 plus 3, uh, 4 plus 3 plus 6 over 24. 
So that gives you 13 over 24. Okay, last one. So how do you do the subtraction or addition with an integer, not a fraction? So the first step you would do is you can convert it, the integer into a fraction. So this is 3. I can rewrite it as 3 over 1 minus 5 over 6. So this one is relatively easy because 1 and 6, what would be the least common multiply? Should be 6. That means I don't need to do anything for the second fraction. I just need to convert the first one by multiply 6 to the top and bottom. I have 18 over 6 minus 5 over 6. So these I have 13 over 6. So yes, that's it. So today we learned about the fraction operation. I'll see you next time.